Welcome to The B Word, the podcast for women who want to unlock the clarity needed to put your big girl panties on and rock your real estate career like the true boss you are. I'm Joanne Bolt, your host, and together we'll dive into the things your broker doesn't teach you in order to own your own truth, disown the things getting in your way to finding your place, and stop apologizing for the obstacles you have to overcome along the way. All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's go ahead and dive into reason number four. Your social media strategy sucks right now. Ladies, guess what? It's because you don't engage back. I will give you the biggest tip I can on social media. It's called social for a reason. You are meant to get engagement. You are meant to comment. You are meant to interact with people on social media. This is not a billboard on the side of the interstate. Your social media has got to create people wanting to comment with you, you commenting back, starting some conversations. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, yesterday and the day before, she told us we have to also get personal on our social media. Here is the biggest secret many of you do not realize because you are just out there busy contenting away. You have begun putting stories up, but they're all images. You have begun putting your posts out, but they're all images. Maybe it's a video occasionally, and that's about it. People aren't really getting to know you on a deep, deep, deep level, which yes, in the past couple of episodes, we have talked about getting personal showcasing your dogs, showcasing your yoga studio, the ice cream you're eating, whatever. But personal also means commenting with your audience. Posting is not the only part you have to do. You need to treat your social media feed like you would your text messages. If a potential client drops into your phone on a text message and says, hey girl, let's talk about listing my home, would you ignore that? Nope, you would not. So don't ignore your DMs either or the fun posts that show up in your algorithm. And I've got some good news for you. When you comment, it increases your engagement points. It strengthens your relationships with the people that are following you on Instagram and it improves your social media presence. Why? Because again, social media is meant to be social. They rely heavily on meaningful interactions which are comments, conversations, DMs, and that's what they use to determine how to sort and serve your content in the feed. AKA, if you want to show up in your ideal client's feed, you better also show up on the post that they put with comments, direct messages, shares, likes, all the ways that you can interact. Oh, by the way, best part ever of all of this you get free branding. Yeah, I'm going to give you a pause right there. Free branding. What real estate agent doesn't like something that is absolutely not going to cost you more than your time? Your branding occurs because you have done your profile correctly where it has your name and then maybe the word realtor or what brokerage you're with. And every time you comment or slide into someone's DMs, they get a notification What does that mean? They see your profile picture and name in the notification. Then when they actually open to see what you commented on or what you put in their DM, they once again see your profile picture and name. This puts you at the forefront of their brain. It keeps them focused on the experience with you. And secondary, it trains the algorithm. Because when you keep a conversation going with someone who is looking at you on social media, so if you drop a question and they answer and you respond and they answer and you can keep it going back and forth for, I don't know, five to eight times, the algorithm thinks that you guys really, really enjoy these conversations and you're training it to serve both of you up in each other's feeds. This is the absolute best part to me of social media. It doesn't cost anything. It just takes some time. It just really takes resetting your mind to not just hit the like button, but really comment meaningfully on someone's post, 
in a way that would get them to respond back to you. So if they post something about their adorable Labrador retriever, don't just say, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Respond back with something like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. How old is he? Or, oh my gosh, he's adorable. I have a lab as well. We should get them together for a play date. What do you think? Anything that gets them to respond back to your comment, then the social media algorithm says, hey, these two people really enjoy each other. They should show up at the top of the feeds. And pro tip for those of you who have realized that your social media sucks, but you really don't like getting out there with your face and your voice, when you are commenting on other people's content, it doesn't require a camera. It doesn't require your video. There are no filters needed. You actually don't need to do hashtag research or content idea brainstorming for the best thing to post today. And therefore, you have no excuses. Zero, zero, zero excuses. So here is your implementatable action item of today. I want you to go into your calendar and I want you to schedule 10 minutes every single day to get on Instagram and 10 minutes every single day to get on Facebook. Y'all, that is a total of 20 minutes. By the way, please set a timer because we all know you can go down a rabbit hole when you start watching the reels or scrolling through the gram. And that is not the point of this. You are going to treat social media like you would any other lead generation tactic and strategy, and you are going to give it thoughtful time. Facebook and Instagram both have stories that show up at the top. So your first couple minutes of your 10 minutes is clicking through the stories. Go five to 10 across and find ones that you can comment on. I would recommend that you comment on at least 10 stories, one individual story from 10 different people. This means that when you comment on their stories, they will see it. It will show up in their DMs. You're likely to get a response back. Boom. You've started conversations. Then for a couple of minutes, you want to go down. So start at the top of your feed and comment on 10 different posts that people have put out there. Try to comment on different people's posts than what you just commented on in the stories. So for instance, if I show up in your stories in the the first 10 across and in your feed for posting the first 10 across, you don't need to comment on me twice. Girl, you just did that for the day. Skip me and keep going. Then go ahead and make sure that you have popped into at least five people's DMs with a question or a comment, or maybe you just take a really great piece of content that you posted and you share it to their DM with a specific question designed to get them to comment back to your DM. So again, what we're going to do in those 10 minutes, it's the 10, 10, 5, 10 across in stories, 10 down in the feed, five DMs, all designed very intentionally to get conversations started. I promise you, if you do this for 90 days, you'll start seeing a difference in your social media. And now I'm going to go ahead and give you my call to action of the day. If you found this tidbit for social media helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast so that you never miss another daily dose and share it with another real estate agent who might need these tips as well. We all can help each other out in this business. There's plenty to go around.